Yo, gang. Too happy to be back on this next module. So let's talk about Resonator. Let me see something real quick. Huh. Huh, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, so this thing is like a comb filter in uh, retrospect, like, and it the difference between this one and the ones that are made at Wavetable Wizard for the blow fill. This one has is, is more physical. You hear it. The ones for the blow fill are going to have a synthetic type of sound to it like a saw or a triangle or a sign or whatnot or a mix match of shapes and what have you this is a physical modeling engine right here 100 percent and it, and it and it's geared toward you know guitars uh basses harps um you know it can do some blowing instruments some strings uh, maybe I would want to say very, very great and proficient at bells. Bass is bumping, booming off the Richter scale, right? So let's let's explain the mechanics behind it, and let's get into some dynamics. Shoot another tape after this. I don't mean to flood YouTube, but like I feel that when we get into new technology, we have to delve in deep. Okay, I'm very humble to be able to even do this. I have a love-hate relationship with this box, but I think it is an amazing tool. It is very, very, very good. You know, and I gotta got give God the praise for making the men to even make this box, and it's awesome that we can all experience this uh, together right now. <clears throat> so that's just what I wanna say. And then we'll, I'm gonna get on with it. Now, there's different peak mod, peak modes to this. This is just, this is the peak mode right here. Now. What happens is Q, Q is going to tighten the strings, so to speak. You know what I mean? With the quote fingers, tighten the strings. And it's also like a sustain. Q curve. Very loud, excuse me. And it's kind of like a high. And low pass element. It kind of like curves it off. So it kind of spikes it and then it rounds it off. Right here will be round. I mean, but it doesn't matter. It's cool. We can hear it. That's the key. Okay, next, spectrum skew. What this does is it's like it's like almost like the pulse width knob on a blow filter, where you peek it all out at the top. Now, if we look at this, this is a comb filter shape on peak mod, right? You see it. Now, the king's crown. Change my mind. I'll wait. 50x. Uh. Harmonics, we got that right on the screen. I changed my mind. I wait. We inspired each other, right? Waldorf, we we do this, right? This is what we do. And so that's just the one shape. So this is a saw type shape, though, as you see, because it's a comb and it looks just like the comb filter. And basically, it is. Now we get into the sign shape when you mess with the skew it changes how high the shape goes now spread is moving this and this is where you can get into 
the oscillator FM. This is another short uh, workaround of the shortcoming because oscillator FM. If I took oscillator one and FM'd it to itself, it's going into itself. So you fold. <laughs> fold it into itself saw square I'm just showing you the different shapes now pulse with the zero that's what it will all be all their peak same thing here same thing here see now sine saw is a bit weird you have to go the opposite direction to get the peaks to come up and then spectrum skew to you know make the what was the curve what's it called on the filters or the envelopes, it's uh, yeah, exponential. Excuse me, I couldn't remember. So you can get that exponential curve with the uh, spectrum skew. Now, modulo is a little different as you pull the timber back or tamper, it goes like that. Spectrum skew again, exponential. <laughs> repeat that's 16 exciter is going to add some other harmonics in there and it excites the uh, the peaking of the uh, resonator see Okay, so the decay. It's kind of like an LFO or like a loop repeat. You know what I mean? The stretch part, the stiff stretch, and then there's the stretch spread. And you see the spread when it stretches is a little bit more smooth. It's like stiff is a little bit more harsh and and forceful. See how they it forces it way back as opposed to stretching. It's like it gradually bends it in there, almost like a spiraling staircase, right? That's what it looks like. <laughs> That will wrap that up as the preliminary high cut filter, which will cuts off the high frequencies, basically low pass, right there. You have the stereo uh, panning and the FO boost. That is the fundamental boost. So, that will wrap up the preliminary to Resonator. We will jump right back on, after I get some water or something, and we'll butte up, and we'll talk a little bit more about the, how to put the samples in, and wavetables, and Yachty, right? I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one.